Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel SSC Selector. In this video, I will give you the solution to find out the length of a line joint line drawn parallel to parallel sides of a trapezium. AB is parallel to CD. ABCD is a trapezium. EF is drawn parallel to AB and CD. The length of AB is 72. Length of CD is 48. And EF is drawn such that AD is but AD is uh, intersected in the ratio of 5 to 3. AE and ED are in the ratio of 3 to 5, and we have to find out the length of EF. Let's see how we can do it. It is given that this is 3 and this is 5. Let's start by joining AC. This point is O. Now let's take triangle ACD. In triangle ACD, OE is parallel to CD. And therefore, angle AO is equal to angle D. Angle AOE is equal to angle AO, ACD. Triangle AOE is similar to triangle ACD. Therefore, we can say that AE upon AD is equal to OE upon CD. Friends, I'll, at the end of the video, I'll give you another direct approach in which we'll not join any diagonal. Directly, we'll find out the value of EF. But for now, let's continue. AE is 3, AD is 8, 3 plus 5 feet. We have to calculate OE and CD is given as 48. The length of OE is equal to 3 by 8 into 48. 8, 6 are 48. OE is 18. This is the length of OE. Now let's take triangle ABC. In triangle ABC, OF is parallel to AB. OF is parallel to AB, therefore, angle AO, COF and CAB are equal. Angle CFO and CB are equal. Triangle COF. Is similar to triangle C A B. Before we move ahead, let me explain you another theorem that if three parallel lines make certain intercept on one transversal, the ratio of intercept cut on the other transversal are same. For example, A B E F and C D are three parallel lines. They cut intercept in the ratio of five to three. Here B E upon E A is five to three. So CF upon FB will also be 5 by 3. Now the triangles are similar. We can say that CF upon CB. CF upon CB is equal to OF upon AB. We know the well, our ratio of CF and CB is 5 to 8. Why? Because CF is 5 and CB is 8. We have to calculate OF. AB is given as 72 cross multiplication. So OF is equal to 5 by 8 into 72. 8 nines are 72. OF is 45. OF is 45. O is 18. This is 18. This is 45. So the length of EF will be OE plus OF. 18 plus 45. That is 63 centimeter. Length of EF is 63 centimeter by this similar triangle approach. Now, as I told you earlier, I will give you another direct approach. So let's move to direct approach of finding the value of EF. What is the ratio of this is 5 to 3? This is also 5 to 3. What you have to do is find the Difference of A, B, and C, D. A, B, and C, D. And then find out the ratio. This difference is uh, divide this number into two different ratios. That is 5 is to 3. So find out 5 by 8 of A, B, and C, D. 
3 by 8 of a b and c the difference is divided in the ratio of 3 to 5 and this is 48 so what you have to do if you want to find out the length of ef then add this number this length is 5 so add this number into c and the second method is this 3 is from AB uh, larger side. So subtract this value from AB. And let's check what will be the value. CD is given as 48. 5 by 8 into AB is given as 72. And this is 48. The value will be 48 5 by 8 into the difference of this 2 is 12 minus 8, 24. 8 3 is 24 15 the value will be 48 plus 15 that is 63 and you can also find this by subtracting 3 by 8 part from ab minus cd ab is 72 3 by 8 of ab minus cd that is 72 minus 48 so 72 minus 3 by 8 into 1 uh, 12 minus 8 is 4 so 24 8 3 is 24 9 Subtract 72 minus 9 and you will get 63 centimeters. So we can find out the length of EF by both. Adding the different the ratio, uh, we have cut the number uh, in the ratio of 5 to 3. So 5 by 8 AB minus C D difference of the two and add to the smaller. So how to how to find out or how to decide which part has to be added, which part has to be subtracted. This is the smaller side, and the ratio near the smaller side is 5, and ratio near the small, uh, larger side is 3. So 5 by 8 will be added, and 3 by 8 will be subtracted. Both will give the same. This is the direct approach. So I hope, friends, you like this video. Like our videos and subscribe to our channel.